Welcome back everyone to another Bloodline video. It's your boy Steve back at it with another Star Wars rip. Today, Top sent me another Star Wars product a few days early. So we're going to be taking a look at 2023 Star Wars Top's Finest. Now this went on pre-sale, I think, on Halloween, October 31st. Um, for about $150 for on Top's website. These will be available and should be available in your local card stores. Uh, I think they usually mark them up a little bit, so maybe 175, 200. I remember last year's product being anywhere between two and 215 per master box, which is what you see here with the two mini boxes. So we are gonna get two hits per master box, one per mini box, as we can see the mini boxes there. Six cards per mini, six packs per mini box, five cards per pack. So let's go ahead and start getting into this. I have not seen the checklist released yet, so. As far as I know, and I say that as I'm recording on the 25th, um, I have not seen a checklist. I just checked Top's website and I checked Cardboard Connection, and neither neither one of those really had a checklist. Cardboard Connection does have kind of the parallels and different um, different parallels and things on their site. I'm just checking the box making making sure I don't see any odds or anything. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-cut them so I could throw my box cutter to the side. So let's go ahead and get into this. Love ripping some Star Wars Finest. See what we can get into. Um, I was looking at Cardboard Connection and it looks like, and last year's product, sh like I said, should get two hits. What constitute as a hit usually one autograph per master box and then a sketch card um those are what typically constitute a hit so kind of giving a preview few days early this is what you can expect um if you're interested in top's finest star wars for 2023 you know i'm glad we got it a little early so we could do a little preview to see if it's worth picking up and how you think of design before it starts actually hitting the shelves so Tales of the Jedi Yaddle, love that, love that little show, or that show they had. The Fifth Brother, Luke Skywalker. Now, trying to, trying to, let me, let me get a couple more packs in before I give my first thoughts on the design. Like I said, this product should be hitting this shelf this Wednesday, which is November 29th. Got a Qui-Gon, Finest Warriors, Anakin Skywalker. Kylo Ren, got a Glenn Urso, or Galen Urso. Kira, have a Rio Durant. Got our first numbered parallel, which is gonna be a Vel Sarthara, Sartha. 48 out of 99 in the green parallel from Andor. Then we got a General Jan I don't love the font because it's D O D O Dodona, Dodona, and then Weasel. I'm having a little trouble reading with the font, but mm, design-wise, hmm, I don't. Initially, I don't care for it. Uh, I like the traditional Tops Finest looks, and this. This is different. This is, and it's not, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't love it. I don't love it. I don't hate it, but it doesn't feel like finest. Admiral Akbar, Grogu, Nedby. Yeah, I don't, mm. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It, it just, it, I think the best way I can put it is it doesn't feel like finest, and that's a little bit disappointing in my. Um, in my opinion, I have purple card coming up. Wedge Antilles. Maybe it'll be a purple auto. Let's see. Likely. Numbered 16 out of 75. Oh, it is. Deborah Wilson. Cree Janda. I love her signature. She's got a beautiful signature from the um, Star Wars Jedi games. Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. Doesn't specify which one this is in, but this is cool. I like this. I like this card. Love playing those games. I played Fallen Order twice. 
um, once when it first came out, and then again before Jedi Survivor came out. And I haven't, I've beat Survivor, haven't had a chance to replay it yet, though. But that's a nice little autograph. For me, I'm happy with that, since I love those video games. Gonna just take a second, top load it. So there's our one auto. Likely gonna get a sketch card for our second hit. So and I love that it was a purple auto. Just gonna set this right over here. Got the fourth sister. Knee nub. The Mandalorian in refractor form. C3PO. Han Solo. So that's our first mini box. Let me get some of these base out of the way. Just kind of slide them over. Did pull our least guaranteed auto from the master box. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you could pull a second auto out of here. It just says hits. It's likely to be a sketch card of some sort, but I'm not gonna count out that there's that there's two autos in here. You never know, there's always a chance. There's always hope. And a rebellion is built on hope. Got Tales of the Jedi, Hanel. Sabine. Oh, that's numbered to 99. Ah, no, that's kind of an aqua. Let me check the parallel indicator over here. So 99, that is going to be an aqua refractor. Oh. Got Chris Stanton. Bix Callan. Andor. I might have to rewatch that. I don't remember that character off the top of my head. I have seen all of Andor. Alright, let's see. Let's see what else we can get here. We got Chewie. Princess Leia. Finest Warriors. Grand Admiral Thrawn. R2-D2. So not too bad so far. Let me know what you think down below. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Rip Star Wars and a bunch of sports cards. Uh, well, whenever we get a chance. The Baru. Let me know down below what you think of Top's Finest. I, I'm sitting here thinking about it as we're, you know, seven, eight minutes into this and... It just, it doesn't, I can't reiterate enough, it doesn't feel like finest design. Like, I feel like this is a chrome design. Yeah, yeah it just, it doesn't feel like finest. C-3PO got a moments. This is a different insert, hadn't seen this one yet. Trying to just look at finest moments is what that is. So, one in every six packs. And then the Mandalorian base. Alright, two more packs. Like I said. Join it. For $150, not too bad. It's definitely worth getting as a pre-order. Um, it seems like, you know, when these items hit the shelves, they tend to go for a little bit more. Now, so far, we have only pulled the one numbered card. And we have not pulled the other quote-unquote hit out of this mini box. So let's see if we get it here. Is it gonna be an auto? Likely to be a sketch card. Um, there's the sketch card. So that is going to be our second hit. Let's see if it's gonna be a, school, a cool sketch. I think last year I got, I think it was a BB-8 sketch if I remember right. I'm gonna pull from the back, Zori Bliss. Got Rose Tico. Zori Bliss again in refractor and base form. Looks like a Power Ranger, honestly. <laughs> so let's see what this sketch is. I'm just going to... Oh, Lando Calrissian. By Rusty. I don't know about you guys, but that always reminds me of... Uh, Nash, uh, like, the Vegas... Or the Vacation series of films with Chevy Chase. Sorry, Rusty, not the... Just the first thing that always comes to mind. So a Lando Calrissian sketch card. Very nice looking card. Let me go ahead and sleeve that and top load that. I don't remember. I believe my BB-8 card from last year or 2021 did have um, some color to it. So I guess I'm a little um, 
I won't say sad, but I was expecting the, to be a little, there to have a little color to the sketch card. So I don't know if this may be just for mine. Like I said, haven't seen any videos on it, but haven't been looking for them since I got this product oh, about four days early. So the sketch cards, nice looking cards. Considered a one of one, but you're gonna get a sketch card in every box, so I guess it doesn't really count. But nice looking sketch card. I think the hit of the video for me is going to be the Deborah Wilson autograph numbered 16 out of 75, who, and she voices Seer Junda from the Star Wars uh, Jedi series of video games, Fallen Order and Survivor. So nice looking card. Did get two other numbered cards. So Bean Ren numbered 41 out of 99 in the Aqua. And then we did pull a Bell Sarth which was numbered out of 99, which is just going to be the green refractor. So, nice looking cards. Like I said, uh, final thoughts on the product before I let everyone go. Yeah, just, it doesn't feel like finest. Design-wise, the cards are beautiful. Um, I haven't seen too many surface issues. There's some edging issues, but that's that tends to happen with Chrome. I don't, I, I overall happy with the quality control. I don't see many print lines or many blemishes on the surface um, granted it is chrome so it's never perfect and one box cannot uh not a large enough sample to give you an idea over the product as a whole but just kind of going back through these these base cards i guess that's my first little blemish but that came off whatever it is i don't see many major print lines or scratches there's the first one i really can tell so overall quality control looks good Design wise, a little lackluster on my end. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like the finest that I know and love. But still happy with the, the autograph and the sketch card. Again, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Love to get your opinion on 2023 Star Wars Tops Finest. So that'll do it for us for this video. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.